My name is Laura Godwin and Lindsay asked me to come and go live in your fun team page. I love the name of your team, by the way. It's super fun. Anyway, um, she asked me to come and go live with you. I'm, I'm very excited about this. Um, so I hope that some of you guys are not working and you'll be able to get on and chat with me so I don't feel like I'm talking to myself because <laughs> that is no fun. So anyway, um, for those of you guys who don't know much about me, um, I am a superstar director from Georgia, and I just moved here. It's a huge adjustment, and um, so anyway, I'll give you a little bit about my Sensi story, and then I have a real quick tip for you that has worked wondrously for my business. I'm really passionate about it because I've seen it work for other people's businesses as well. So I'm super excited to share it with you. Um, first off, big thanks to you, Lindsay, for inviting me to come and do this. It's so fun. I love helping Sensi sisters and misters, and so um, I'm excited about this. So, a little bit about me. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Sensi has afforded me to do that, and it's the best gift ever. Like, I get crazy emotional when I talk about it. Um, but anyway, my little man is 10. Oh my gosh, he was two when I started Sensi, And um, so, he has... I mean, this has been his life, and it's so rewarding to be able to say that I've been able to stay at home with him. Um, I homeschool. It keeps me crazy busy. I was a teacher before um, since he came along, and so teaching is my heart. I taught school, and I taught piano. So um, I love to teach, and I love to talk, obviously. Um, but yeah, so I'm a stay-at-home mom. My little man is 10. He loves to golf and baseball, and I am constantly either on a golf course or a baseball field or somewhere in between all the time, all year round, and it's the most fun ever. Um, so yeah, I've been married for, let's see, 13 years. And my handsome is very supportive of my business. He wasn't at first. Um, but he, uh, I want to say he wasn't supportive. He just was, he like, he didn't really back me. He was supportive. He let me do it, but, um, he didn't really have the sense of spirit. <laughs> and I think earning my, the trips really did that for him because he saw that this could be, um, a huge blessing to our family and to him, um, beyond the financial aspect of it. Cause I've always made money. Um, and so I think when, he started seeing that I could make money and stay at home. And when he started seeing that this changed, like, things for him, too, because he could go on trips, that was a big deal. Hi, Patty. I'm so glad that you're here with us today. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, my Sensi journey, gosh, you guys, it's embarrassing, but I'm just going to give it to you for real. I, I started with no intention of ever, like, being awesome with this. Um, that was the furthest thing from my mind. In fact, I made sure that my sponsor knew up front that I would never be a seller. Ever, 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 ever. And I made sure that she knew that up front so that she didn't push me because I also don't like to be pushed. And so, um, you know, selling's out of my comfort zone. I'm really shy. You wouldn't know it today so much because since he has worked amazing wonders on me and my confidence and when I think about the Laura back then it makes me like I don't know just it's just hard to believe that so much could happen in eight years but in February I'll celebrate eight years and I hit director in six months and I get asked a lot of times you know what made you go from not even wanting to sell it to hitting director in six months and I really have to say that um, people love Cincy and I didn't do a lot of things right because I was shy, and so I wasn't the big partier. I didn't have tons and tons of friends. But what I did right was make sure that I provided really great customer service, and that covered a multitude of the things that I did wrong, you know, by being so shy. Um, so providing good customer service got my business off the ground, and people kept wanting to reorder from me because I treated them right whenever they did order right. And so, um, yeah. Uh, my business just really grew. You guys maybe heard my story at reunion. I did try to give away my first recruit. Like, seriously, didn't want her. Called my director that lives 17 hours away from me and said, oh my heck, someone in my town wants to join my team. Where do I tell her to go? <laughs> 
And uh, my director, Stephanie, was like, um, you tell her to go to your website. And I'm like, oh, no, I know what this means. You're going to want me to be her, her leader, and I'm going to have to be her trainer and her mentor and do all the things that you've done for me. Um, heck no. And so, um, anyway, long story short, I did let that first recruit, Brandy, sign up under me. And Brandy was an awesome rock star. And I learned then and there um, that, well, actually, it took another recruit that I tried to give away, my next recruit, too. Um, but slowly but surely, I learned that I could be severely shy and very insecure. I could even be um, kind of, like, flawed and not do this business perfectly, and my customers would still love me. And my team would still be awesome. You know, like, it wasn't all about perfection, and I can't tell you how freeing that is. Okay, so I'm getting super caught up in my story, like I was afraid I would do. But um, anyway, so my Sensi journey, let's see, six months into it, hit director, a year later, hit superstar director. Um, oh, I'm actually, I thought about this right before I went live. This is the sweatshirt from the very first trip that I ever won with Scentsy, and I've earned every single one since then. Um, but my first trip, the first, I mean, I actually won it without even meaning to. My director called me and she's like, do you have your passport? And I'm like, what do I need a passport for? I'm just selling Scentsy. Like, you know, it's all coming to me so quickly. I, I ignored, I deleted all of those emails talking about Alaska because there was no way in the world that Laura would ever hit a milestone like earning a trip. I thought that was only for the really big rock stars, you know? And so every time I'd get an email about Alaska, if it even said Alaska in the subject line, I just delete, 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 delete. If the training calls were about Alaska, I was just like tuning it out, you know, doing my ironing or washing or whatever I was doing, you know, just like not even paying attention because there was no way on earth that somebody like me could win something like that but oh my gosh I did I I earned the first trip three months into my Scentsy journey and you know they oh oh whatever Lindsay I'm just I'm so excited but um you know how they always say that you know like start well finish well I really feel like that there's a lot to that whether it's starting a new year right or starting your journey right or whatever you know, um, earning that first trip made me never, ever want to miss another one, and I haven't. So I've earned a lot of fun trips, but I think there's something really special about your first one. And so anyway, I thought that was kind of cool that whenever I woke up this morning, I had no idea that I'd be going live in your fun team page today. And so I think it's kind of fun that I have my t-shirt or my sweatshirt on. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys about a real quick tip. Um, there's something about being in Scentsy. You always feel feel the need to, and the desire, especially with all these fun trips, right? Um, you always want to rebuild your customer base. And that can be a little bit of a source of anxiety for some of us, if you're shy like me, or if maybe you move to a new location like me again. Ah, there's so many reasons why it feels honestly a little impossible to get a healthy customer base and be able to turn it over. And if you're a heavy recruiter, then you're recruiting your best sellers. I mean, your best hostesses. You're recruiting your best customers. And so what happens? You have to find new customers, right? It's like this never ending wheel that just keeps turning. And for me, it's been turning for eight years. Well, almost. I'm two months shy of eight years. But eight years, man, that's crazy, right? And so I'm always on the lookout for something that works with my shy personality, that works with my busy personality, and I don't work outside the home, so I don't have this constant influx of new faces in front of me. Like, I go to the grocery store, and I'm sitting on a golf course with a bunch of men and a ball field with a bunch of baseball players and a few moms, you know. So this is what I use. It's the drawing slips from the Cincy Family Store. Um, you can go to Google and um, search drawing slip templates and you can print some out for free. And I'm going to tell you what I do right now. Um, and this has by far been probably the biggest customer base booster that I've ever, ever used in my eight years. Um, and I've tried a bunch of things, so leave it to me to tell you that if this works, then it really does work. Okay, so what I do is I get these 
done up ahead of time. And if you'll notice, hopefully you can see, I get a stamp and I put all of my contact information on the drawing slip. And then as I'm out and about with my cashier, with my waitress, even with my mechanic, okay, for real, I was getting my oil changed. Oh, it's been about a month ago now. And I was telling the mechanic about, um, I think he said something about my car smelling good. I don't even remember. But anyway, however, we opened up the Scentsy Conversation. You know, we're going to open up the Scentsy Conversation. And so I just whipped out one of these things, one of these drawing slips. And I was like, oh, by the way, um, I do something fun with my Scentsy business. And if you'll give this to your girl or if you want to use it yourself, that's fine. Fill it out top to bottom. Text me a picture of it to this number, and you'll get three free samples. So I change it up. Sometimes I say you'll get 25% um, off your next purchase, or 20% off your purchase, or 10%. I change it up. I try to make it. Um, I try to make it fun, but I also try to make it to where immediately they know what the giveaway is. I mean, I don't. I don't want them to feel like that. Oh, um, you know, I might not win, or I might win. I'm getting into, I'm going into a drawing with 150 other people. No, you send me a text of this, filled all the way up. Sorry, my dog's trying to get in the, in the room. Um, you fill this up all the way. Send me a text. Hold on, I gotta let him in, you guys. Come on, guys. Anyway, fill this out. Send it to me. I will give you XYZ, okay? You fill in the blank. You may be in a place in your business where you can give away a free car bar, or you might be in, the, in a place in your business where you could do um, buy one, get one free room sprays. I don't know. But I feel like that, and Orville has taught us this from the beginning of my Scentsy journey. I've heard over and over and over, and Scentsy's culture is generosity. And I really find that when I start being a little bit stingy, when I start being a little bit, um, I, I don't know what the right word would be, but I just, I, I try to live my life by a generous spirit. And I know that if I give from the right place in my heart, that it will come back to me. Now, we don't want to give away the sun, moon, and stars. I'm not giving away free warmers just because they text me a picture of this. But let me tell you how crucial it is and how, and why it's, it's so, like, it's such a game changer. Let me tell you why. You guys, when they text you this information to your phone, you have their contact information. But better than that, better, way better than that, they have your number in their phone. You get it? So the next time they're at work and somebody mentions needing a Sensi consultant, what are they going to say? Oh my gosh, I know a girl. I, she just sent me three free samples and all I had to do was fill out this sheet. Or, oh my gosh, I know somebody. She's in my phone. Hold up. You know, like you, I work really hard for my contact information to get into someone's phone. But all it took was a stinking sheet of paper and a free sample or two. You know, like, and what I love about this too is it helps me be able to, to build a rapport with them on terms that I like. I'm a texter. Um, Facebook's fine. Email's totally obsolete. Emails is such a 90s thing, you guys. I, I just don't even love to email at all. But, you know, really, I love texting. And so by them getting into my phone on my terms and me starting to communicate with them on my terms and my preferred communication routes, then it makes it so much easier to communicate with them in the future. So one of the next questions that I would tell them when they do text me all of their information, I'll be like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. You are going to love these free samples or these, um, whatever you want to give away, scent circle. I don't know. Just have fun with it. Do fun stuff free washer with sample, whatever. So I'll, I'll say, oh my gosh, thank you so much. You are going to love your, tell them what they get, and then say, have you ever tried Scentsy before? I mean, try to 
make communication with them try to get them talking to you yeah they really just want the free sample we get that but you might just meet your next new best friend you may just find your next hostess all because you didn't just give away a sample but you actually tried to engage with them and um, sincerely chat and get to know them and find out you know like if they say yeah I use Scentsy then say oh my gosh yay what is your favorite scent or you know um do you like cinnamons or you know just ask them questions to get them talking about themselves one thing that I've learned I'm really shy I've said that like 10 times already today on this chat okay so really I won't say it again but I am and so for me I love trying to find ways to make people want to talk to me because if not then I get a little overwhelmed and I feel like they really are not enjoying the conversation and so I love to ask questions um, and I found that pretty much everyone in the world loves to talk about themselves so if I can get them talking about themselves then they're enjoying themselves and I'm enjoying it even more because that's less chatting that I have to do so with that being said I hope you guys will set a goal of passing 10 drawing slips away each week 10 you're not going to get 10 texts, but hey, what if you get 8? What if you get 7? What if you get 10? Imagine what your customer base would look like if you were mailing scent of the month flyers to 5 times the amount of people that than you were 2 weeks ago because that's what these will do for your business. You will have more contacts in your phone than what you can keep up with if you really work this. So, that's my idea. I hope you like it. I hope it blesses your business and boosts your customer base um, as much as it does mine. And I will open it up to questions. I see that there are a few of you guys on. So if you have a question for me, type it out and I'll make something up. <laughs> no, I'll answer it or I'll try. Anybody have any questions for me? Okay, well, I don't see any questions, so that either means I put you to sleep or it was so awesome you're still taking notes. <laughs> I will, I'll say that it was probably the first one though. Hopefully you're not all sleeping and hopefully you liked it. So thanks again so much, Lindsay, for um, giving me this opportunity to chat with you guys. I hope that was a blessing. Hope it was a game changer. Um, Patty has a question. She says, how long did it take you to make it? Um, to make what? Oh, really make it full time? Um, in six months, I matched my teaching income, which teachers don't make bank. But um, yeah, six months, I uh, replaced my regular income and um, was able to kind of like go part time. Um, and it, you know, like I think that really it's going to be different for every single person because I was working like crazy to, because I wanted, I, once I caught the vision, I really caught it and I saw what it could do and I really worked hard. Like I, I went crazy hard with it. I did fundraisers. Um, I did home parties, basket parties. I even did little festivals and fairs and um, man, I just, I really, really went gung-ho and tried to build my team as fast as I could because that's really the residual income that you're looking for to make it full-time. Um, you need a strong, strong team. So, hope that answers your question. Yay. All right. Well, I love chatting with you guys. And um, how many people were on your team when you made SSD? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm not even going to guess because I'm terrible with numbers and stuff like that. So I tell you what, when I get finished with this, I'll come back to this thread and I'll, I'll look back and I'll write it out for you and let you know. It seems like we weren't quite at 100, but oh, I hate to even guess. I could be miserably wrong. Like when you see the real number, you're going to be like, she did what? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, Lindsay, if it's all right, I'll come back and I'll get you a real number. To let you know. And Jason Harwood gave me some real advice about two months ago that I love. We were chatting on the phone and he said to me that, you know, as I'm mentoring some of these, um, you know, rising stars and directors and stuff, he's like, you know, 
there's not a hardcore number because every, the dynamics of every team is so different. Um, for instance, if you have people overseas or if, you know, you have um, a lot of, uh, you know, nurses, and he didn't say this part, I'm, I'm ad-libbing, but like if you have nurses and teachers on your team, those usually, those people sell a lot. And so, um, you know, there's a lot of different dynamics that play into how many people that you would want on your team um, to really go strong enough to get to be um, a superstar director. So, anyway, all right. Well, you guys have a fantastic night. And if I don't talk to you before, have a Merry Christmas. Oh, wait, one more thing. Biggest recruiting tip. Oh, biggest recruiting tip. Just pick one. Let me think. Um... You know, I just keep, I'm honestly just going to go back to, and I use this all the time because it's what worked with me. I always think if my sponsor could recruit me, then she, that, that strategy could recruit anybody because I was pretty much hardcore, like, not going to sell, ever. I'm not that person. So if she could recruit me, then her method work and it works. And I'll tell you, I've used it a million times. Not really a million. It just sounded good to say that. Like, a bunch of times. And what she said, or what she did for me is she she just got me to host a party. I was no, 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 no on the selling. And then she just tried to flip me. She just knew that if she could get me to do a basket, she lived 17 hours away from me. So it, it was a basket party, but I turned it into a home party. Um, if I, if she could just get me to agree to do a, a party, then I would see the income potential and I would sign up and that's exactly what happened. And now I see how stinking smart she was. I did not know what she was doing, but it worked. It so worked and I'm forever grateful and thankful that she did, um, use that strategy on me because I would have never signed up if she had just kept asking. I probably would have gotten to the place where I totally tuned her out. But anyway, that's my biggest recruiting tip is just get them to host a party and work with your hostesses and try to flip them that night or that day when they turn the basket in. Immediately tell them about the income potential that they could have if they put the $99 out. So I hope that helps. It might not have been what you were looking for. But if I had to narrow it down to one, I would, I would do that every single time. All right, big hugs to you guys. Um, thanks for asking me to do this, Lindsay. I hope that it was a blessing. I hope it's what you guys were looking for.